Hello everyone, today I want to talk about Dry Inflector. It's a gem that it's able to pluralize, singularize and doing other string manipulations. Why we, we built this? Because uh, there were two ways to achieve this kind of behaviors in your Ruby app. Um, one was Rails via active support, but if you don't want to uh, bother to add a tons of features and monkey patching to your uh, Ruby core objects. The other solution was the Inflecto, which was deprecated time ago, uh, and there was Hanami Utils for that, but I wanted to extract from the Hanami project and provide a standalone um, gem under the dry uh, project. So how this works? Uh, you add to the gem file and I prepared a little script to show you how it works. So you require instantiate the inflector, it's an object, you invoke pluralize and it returns the pluralized version or the singularized version of it. And it's able to do other features like I said before, like the following. Um, this is about the first part here is about uh, class manipulation. That means for given a string, it provides a camelized version uh, from, a, um, you know, you can figure out here from the input the classification, the modularization. Um, it's able to provide given the name of a, a class, the class itself, useful for metaprogramming and other dash rise underscore humanize we have this convention here that if there is an underscore id it's get uh, ignored and so you get just author here tabulation does for database purposes and um, ordinalization that means from a, an integer it returns the ordinal number as a string now uh, how it's able to do this. It, it's shipped with a set of rules that we wrote, right? But if you need to add your own rules on top of the default ones, you can pass a block to the um, initializer. It yields the inflection rules and you can add a plural, for instance, a plural rule you pass the singular and the plural version of it, or you can do the way around. If you want to provide a rule for the singularization, you use singular, you use provided the plural, which is the starting point, and the result of it. And you can specify that a word is uncountable, that means it cannot be uh, not pluralized, but just return as it is uh, here. Or you can pass an acronym that has a special treatment uh, like this. Let me pass a couple of examples. So I hope that this was useful for you. Please let me know, like this video if it was useful. Hit subscribe to know more about the other dry gems. Um, for more information you can uh, reach visit dry-rb.org and find the other usages of dry inflector. See you next time!